friends, welcome back to my channel. It has been like such a hot minute since I have filmed. This time of year is always really hard for me because I have like mid years and then I have sorority recruitment and I just get hit with a lot of things all at once. And some years I'm really good about pre-carving out time to pre-film and other years I'm not great at it. This was one of those years. But I'm coming at you today with a Bath & Body Works trash talk. I have quite a pile of items over there to talk about. I have a good array of things, so let's go ahead and jump in. First item that I have is a hand soap. It is the winter hand soap. Um, I have to say, I didn't love this. I thought I was going to like it because it was definitely a more watered down version of the candle, but in the end, it just was still too intense for my hands. Like the smell would linger and it's quite spicy. So I'm happy to have used this up. I would not get this particular one. I Again. We also have two empties from Ben. He used up the Autumn Nights, which says inspired by Friday Night Lights, Cool Air, and Varsity Leather Jackets. I originally picked this up thinking that I would like the scent of this on me, but it just didn't jive with me. To me, it was very much of like a cologne scent, but I really like the scent of it on Ben. And then we also have a lotion from him. This is the Paris for Men body lotion. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like most of their men's body care smells the exact same. But I did like the scent on Ben. Um, he was trying to use up a lotion even though he prefers body creams this time of year, but he said that he didn't mind the texture of this. I also used up a body product. This was in my Project Use It Up, so a little bit of a spoiler here because we're ahead of the game, but I used up the snowflakes and cashmere that I had. With the body creams, I do cut them open just because there is so much left inside once you get through that air pocket. Um, I really like the scent of this. I am very glad to see that it seems to be a returning classic to the winter collection that they bring out for the signature scents. This is awesome. It's a really nice vanilla-based scent and I'm happy that I have another body cream of it in the hoarding closet. I have a pocket back. I managed to finish off the Peach Bellini pocket back. Um, basically, what tends to happen is whenever my purse pocket back tends to get a little too low, I will just pull it out and stick it in my car and use it in my car. I pretty much put hand sanitizer on every time I leave the gym. I was really sick of this scent, especially this time of year. The pocket backs are incredibly strong, but they do feel like they make your hands nice and clean, so I like them for that. I've got one tiny single wick. This is the Sun Washed Petals. I really like this. It is a floral, perfumey type of scent. Like I feel like I would love this as a body care. The way I like to use these small one wick candles is I basically put it on my makeup vanity and when I'm doing my makeup, I like to get a scent off of these. They don't give like a super big scent throw. Like I wouldn't say this is going to fill a room and like you're going to enjoy it, but when I'm sitting next to it, that's when I can smell this and it's appropriate for that setting. So I don't mind spending a couple of bucks on these during semi-annual sale to get them for that experience. Okay, let's go ahead and talk three wicks. I have six of them. The first is the Vanilla Balsam. I was really excited to get this candle. I remember really, really liking it, but for some reason this time around, it just, it was just okay. Like I have about this much of the candle left, which is more than I normally end with, but the scent for me was just sort of meh. Like it wasn't, true balsam like it just felt like a watered down balsam i didn't really get any vanilla distinctive notes off of this when it was lit and the performance was just okay the wicks were kind of just like puny so i wasn't motivated to want to buy this scent again and i feel like i'll feel less inclined next year if this comes out to want to pick it up I also have a banana cream pie i also was looking forward to this but it just it was okay. Like the scent of it was just okay. You know, it has pretty long, substantial wicks. Like it burned pretty wickedly, but I just wasn't super in love with how strong it was and like kind of the scent itself. So not like the biggest hit here for me, I would say. Also burned New York, which was cherry cheesecake. This also not like the biggest fan of. The scent just, it was like artificial cherries. It wasn't cough syrup cherry, like black cherry Merlot. I don't know. It was just more like candy fake cherries. And sometimes when I smell scents that are a little bit weird, 
I kind of have gotten into the habit of just being like, don't worry, it's gonna work out in the end. Because aside from this candle, any candle that I've had some intrigue with but haven't like loved 100% on cold, I have ended up really liking when I go to burn it. But this one was not the case. I was not sad when this one was done burning. Um, and the burn was just fine on it, like it burned all the way down. We did have like a lot of sooting with this candle, so wouldn't get this one again. Next up, I have blueberry maple pancakes. I was really excited for this. I distinctly recall having this in the fall, but we had some bad wick issues on this. If you look in here, you can see I kept having problems where the wicks would snuff themselves out. And I would say like at about this point, you can see where all the squidging starts to take place. The wicks really got puny. And I don't remember that happening I will also say that puny wicks don't necessarily bother me if I can still get a really decent scent throw. And half the time I can, the other half the time it's just miserable. And this was kind of just miserable. Like I like the scent of this. I like the scent a lot, but the burn of it wasn't so great. And it really hurt the throw, which was a real bummer. So I don't think I would go out of my way to get this one again. From the same collection as New York, I have Ski Lodge. This is the Hot Cocoa and Cream. This is my second one. I believe, I think it's my second one. This burned beautifully. I had no problems with this. I really like the scent of this. I love that like chocolatey, creamy type of scent. Yeah, big fan of this. It burned quite fast. That was my only complaint. But aside from that, good candle would happily repurchase. And then the last candle that I have that makes all of the bad burns and bad performance worth it is this puppy. This is Rose Water Meringue. I live. I live. This candle is wonderful. It burned wonderfully. It had a little bit of sooting, had like pretty strong wicks. I don't care. I had instantaneous scent. I love this scent. Um, this gives me, but people have told me that I'm wrong, but this gives me winter rose vibes. I want to say maybe four Years ago, maybe five years ago, there was a winter rose candle that came out. It basically just smelled like rose soap and I loved it. I think I burned through two and then I never saw it again and I've never seen it since. I think it's wonderful, but it's been so long that aside from saying it smells like rose soap, I don't actually remember what it smells like. But when I lit this, that is what I felt like my scent memory went back to, but I was commenting on someone else's video and a lot of people were like, no, 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 that doesn't smell the same, but I don't care. I don't care what it smells like. It is amazing. I am waiting desperately for some kind of candle sale to take place, in which case I will just buy two or three of these because I love it. The notes in here are rose water, pink sugar, vanilla bean, and essential oils. I just... This was awesome. I have body care in this scent. I haven't tried the body care, so I don't know if it actually matches up with this, but let me just, let me show it to you. So unannounced, I also have a, a bag with some goods in it. I went in because I got a DM on Instagram telling me that they had turned the aromatherapy love into a pocket back. And I was like, Ooh, girl would like that. So I went in, but then my store still had a bunch of 75% off the manual sale stuff and I found some nice things. Let's just, let's just talk about it. Went in for the pocket back, but then I came across, uh, I came across this little gator and I feel like the way he holds the hand sanitizer I think, he, I think he is so cute. So I definitely decided to pick him up. I just, I think he's great. Really excited about that. And then I found this a repurchase of Ski Lodge. I love this scent and 75% off. Like, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm definitely gonna go for it. And then I found this. This is like such a hidden gem. I remember talking about this in the fall and no one like verified that it was real, but I distinctly see it. I distinctly remember seeing for like 0.3 seconds, toasted praline and pear, pear. You heard that correctly. But like, as soon as I got wind of it in 0.3 seconds, I never saw it at the store, never saw it. And then I never saw it at some annual sale, but then I just happened to come across it in this bin. Oh my God. Yeah. 
this is brown sugar and pear vibes. I don't know if it's the exact same because again, I only had that one that one time, but yeah, added this to my life. And then I came across these two. I, if you guys recall from my one and only haul that I had going for some annual sale, I bought this in a shower gel because I really don't need body creams, but because I loved the candle scent so much, I was like, mm, I may as well grab these two things. So I grabbed the body cream and mm, I cannot wait to put this all over my body. And then I also grabbed a fine fragrance mist. It has been... seven years, eight years since I have purchased a fine fragrance mist. I am really more of a perfume person, but I figured if nothing else, I could use this as a room spray because I just love it. Let me just, oh, it smells so good. I cannot express to you guys how much I love this scent. I am so sad that it seems to be just like a one-off brought out for semi-annual sale. And they had, sadly, too many of these. They had like, I think maybe nearly two dozen of the body creams and a bunch of fine fragrance mess and they had like a handful of the shower gels. So I don't know if that just means the body cream didn't do super well or if overall the whole collection didn't do that well. I can't imagine that being a thing, but I did pick these up. I am living my best rose life. All right, guys, took an unexpected turn there with the haul at the very end, but this is where I am at. I am so glad to be back and filming and sharing all these things with you guys, and I will talk to you in my next video really soon.